Yes, because I, I, as you were talking, I was thinking, you know, you're absolutely right. Because if you're looking at your mobile phone while they're pouring out their heart and their wire to to you, <laughs> that can actually create a, a huge disconnection. And well, it sends a message, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. While well, you're trying to send a message. So actually, <laughs> which message is important? <laughs> Kia ora koutou katoa, my name is Alexander, I work as a dual diagnosis clinician and counsellor. Um, I'd like to introduce you to my friend Chris. Kia ora Chris. Kia ora, my name is Chris and uh, I do pastoral uh, care and counselling um, and really excited to make this video with my friend Alexander. Hi. What would you say is the first step for someone to uh, face someone along as a support person? Yeah, I. I guess two things come in mind. It's really clear when you look at research that support people are absolutely critical mm. for our bros. Yeah. Because often that they might have disclosed to a community service, they might have disclosed to say a teacher or whoever, yeah. and um, aren't often believed. Mm. Which can be really triggering and damaging because yeah. what will often happen is that our guys who have been abused will often be told that no one will believe you. Mm. So it then becomes critical if they have disclosed to you yeah. that there's something clearly about you that yeah. they trust. Yeah. You know, so in another video, we talked about how our bros can apply um, aroha yeah. to celebrate Te Wiki or Te Leo Māori Week, although every week should be yeah. Māori Language Week. <laughs> um, how, how, can our, how can our bros apply aroha yeah. to themselves, right? To being able to, to find a way to, to, yeah, to show kia kaha, yeah. to stand up, to be heard, to be counted. So for our support people, kia kaha is definitely the same thing, but I think, and you've identified this, you know, in a kōrero that we had prior, um, was afi yeah. to support. So for me, what, is, what does afi actually mean to you? Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, for me, it's around, um, I really like the word afi. I think it's a beautiful word and it is coming alongside and it is, you know, trying to be uh, someone who helps carry, mm. carries the load in one part uh, but also is able to walk alongside, sit alongside um, as this journey is undertaken. Yes. Um, so yeah, I think it is really important and that's quite interesting what you shared there. Um, and I think it's an important mindset to take in mm. that someone has seen something in you yeah. and there's trust that's been earned enough to, to actually bring you in. Yes. And, and so I think that's a really sacred tapu space mm. to be in and I think it should be treated that way mm. like and, and yeah, I mean, I've had the privilege of journeying with different people and different things and different struggles. And, and I consider it an absolute privilege that they would, you know, share that with me. And I, I treat it as exactly as that, as a really tapu space right. that needs to be treated that way. And mm. um, to be honoured that way, they yes. need to be honoured and they need to be encouraged about how courageous they are being. It's it's tough, man. Like, mm. yeah, so, so that's kind of, how I would see yeah. it. Yeah. I like I like your use of the word um, journeying or going on a journey with someone. Mm. That makes me think hiking. I'm not built for hiking, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm built for walking a journey with someone, right? Yeah. But whether it's journeying or walking, the ability to show genuine affy yeah. to that person, right? Yeah. I think is key, um, and also when I think when I think about that word affi, I think you don't have to be an expert no. in all things sexual violence, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think some of it is trying to learn how to be a, a decent person in one respect. Um, and that may be a bit frank, but mm. you know, and I think some of it is asking yourself questions too. If you're a support person, affing someone, how is it that you want to be treated? If you, if the shoe was on the other foot, mm. you know, what is it that you would be needing? Um, what is it you'd need to hear? How would you want to be, um, you know, spoken to? Um, it's all of that stuff. And so I think it takes a, a good, a reasonable amount of self-awareness too, because we all bring stuff to the table. Yes. Um, even as a support person, you know, we bring our own bias, you know, our own baggage. Mm. And so I think there's a self-awareness there that's really important yes. when we go on a journey with someone. So, so not many people might know this, but one one in three, roughly, Māori men are affected, or Māori males, I should say, are affected by sexual abuse. And for our Pacific guys, I think it's something like one in four, one in five. Mm -hmm. So it's actually on the same level mm -hmm. as as our, our woman in yeah. general.